Well, howdy everybody, Hellcrex here, just doing a little bit of army on parade. What you see here is the Orcs and Goblins army that I've been painting up since April. I've uh, been kind of busy getting them all done. As you can see here, there's a lot and lots of miniatures for the Orcs and Goblins. Some of this stuff has been painted for 30 years, some of it has not, but just wanted to get the Orc and Goblin... Uh, army all finished up and at this moment this pretty much is 90 90 percent of all the, the models that i have for this army the paint still got um 30 orcs and 40 goblins yet to go well, actually 45 orcs and 40 goblins and then i'll probably be done but right now this is where it's at all right, let's just start from the back here. As you can see, these are the old Battle Masters uh, orcs that that Games Workshop put out for their board game. Uh, Battle Masters way back. Oh gosh, I think it's over 30 years, 31, 32 years ago, something like that. It's been a long time since those guys come out. You can see they're all here. And then some of these we've seen in previous videos, but uh, here we have some squig riders, a unit there, and another unit of squig riders. So, all together we have, what, 22, I think, 22 squig riders. So, it was a good chunk of them. Could easily just put them in one big mass and then have them charge for And I think most squig riders are like 8 or 10 points. I can't remember exactly uh, how many points they are. But you know, there's a chunk of change right there wrapped up in that unit. And then we just have some squigs. Now, one thing I need to do is get the squig herder you know, done as one of the models that needs to get uh, finished up for the squig herders. But it's not necessarily a big rush on those. And over here, we got a couple of the uh, mauler squigs. You know, got these guys all ready to roll go forward so there's two of them and we got got these big choppers there all ready to go uh, those are like a hundred hundred and ten points a piece I think something like that somewhere in there so a little bit pricey and then we have um, what was it uh, 21 I think yeah 21 uh, Wolf Riders, Goblin Wolf Riders here. We got some Battlemaster ones. Somewhere along the line, one of them is missing, but I don't know what happened to it. And oh, it's over here. There we go. I had nine of these uh, Wolf Riders. These are old, uh, old, old models from way back. And I painted these things like 30 years ago. So I have all those ready to, to go. And up here we have a couple chariots. Um, orc chariots back in the day it's like one's boars and then this other one has wolves so if I ever get around to it uh, I'm, I do have some extra boars that I could um, paint up and then make it two boar chariots but right now it has one with wolves and then you've seen these before these are the trolls we have 18 was it uh, yeah, 18 trolls of the stone trolls, and then we have 18 of the river trolls. So, yeah, I'll get the job done. And I think those are 40 to 48 points a piece, depending on what, how you point them out. Regular trolls, I think, are 40 or 42, so give or take. And then back here we have a old, oh, the, um, the giant, the other giant here. So we got one giant to go stomp on everything. And then here we have a, uh, a goblin uh, diver right there. It's the old goblin diver ready to go. And that's an old uh, uh, catapult that I use for my rock lava for my um, working goblin army there and then here we have nine stands of snotlings 
um, it's uh, enough to uh, cause a little bit of trouble and here's what uh, we have some goblin archers these are the old uh, fourth edition box you know that came in the starter box there's uh, plus a few extra metal ones here and here's the other half I got them painted up in two different units so we got a red unit and then we got a purple uh, night goblin style unit so they're both kind of, they're both night goblins as if ones are wearing red and then here's the the goblins that came in the also the spearmen that came in that set uh, so there's what uh, 50 here all together with some command so two units of 25 enough to cause a little bit of problems and they're roughly what four points a piece so yeah it's uh not for not a lot of points wrapped up in the in the goblins to be to be honest and here we have night goblins we got uh basically one big massive unit or we could have multiple units small units again of 20 25 if i wanted to I can take these guys two ranks here and throw them over here so you can have two units of 25 if I want to. So I have those. So eventually, maybe someday I'll get some more night goblins to add to the mix and expand the ranks of those guys. And here we have these are Ralpartha and Grenadier models from way back, back before we even had access to Games Workshop models. Uh, these were my original, um, what do you call uh, black orcs that would been in my unit, you know, because they're fairly large compared to everybody else. So that was what I had them for. Is my black orc unit. So there's what uh, 20 of those. Back here is an old. These came out of a board game. These are orc uh, archers. There's what seven there. And then obviously, if you have night goblins. Night goblins, night goblins, more night goblins. You can throw uh, goblin fanatics into it. So I got a whole bunch of goblin fanatics that I can turn around and put up to I think three of them in a unit. They're a little price. Heck, you can spend more on the the fanatics than you can on the unit itself. If you know, that's the sad thing. But it really keeps people on their toes because you never know when these things will come out and just rip through your army. So you, these things can tear a unit to pieces. And here's the newest edition. We got, here's 10 um, Goblin Spider Riders. And then here's 10 more Goblin Spider Riders. Yeah, lots of Goblin Spider Riders. So we got 20 Goblin Spider Riders. I just finished them today, this morning. So you can see, they look pretty good. Lots of colors to them. So they'll, they'll get the job done. I think these are, what, 10 points a piece? So they're fairly cheap. You know, they're fast, just like the goblin, uh, wolf riders. Their whole job is to get out there and be speed bumps to uh, lock up units and cause some havoc. And they can do some good work. What you, oh, man, I forgot. I don't have the uh, Arachnarok, uh, my giant spider that's sitting out here. So I might have to pull it out and do an addendum here real quick. All right, so then we have two troll hags. You've seen these before. Uh, the two troll hags that go with the trolls. So if you're going to have a troll army like these guys over here, you take a couple troll hags, they're spellcasters, and they give you the ability to have more trolls. And then here is my goblin um, spider uh, boss. He's a boss that's riding a spider. I painted this thing up 30 years ago, probably. So, yeah, it's uh, kind of nice. I think this is a Raupartha model from way back in the day. And this is an old grenadier model here. This is my, uh, what was always my goblin, or not my orc, uh, war boss. He's on a big old base. He's on a huge, what is that? I think it's a 50 50 base, which he's supposed to be on a 50 50 base. So I need to get another, put him on a base too. So eventually I'll get around to it. 
And then we have an old Raupartha Shaman that I painted up way back in the day. And here's another Shaman. This is my Orc Shaman. It's an old Grenadier model. And then here's my latest, which in greatest is my Orc War Boss on Wyvern. Uh, this is the newest edition. I hand painted a uh, bull, a red bull on the back on his banner back there. So this is all hand painted. So, this was 3D. This is a 3D printed model. Really good too. Looks good. So they, the company that uh, produced these up on. Uh, can't remember exactly how, maybe I'll put it in the liner notes but uh, they have a bunch of uh, trolls so thinking about taking to tr buying uh, some trolls when I print out some more trolls because I want to have two more units of trolls to add to this mix and they'll be from the same company of this these guys from so there and what's next well we have all the over here you can see all the Bretonian models that are all painted up. Uh, oh yeah, I've still got another chariot. There's another, uh, that's a goblin chariot there. So, and I got a couple boar riders, you know, from, I picked up along the way somewhere. So I have to finish those guys too, to add to the mix. All right, let me pause this and then we'll come. And over here. Pulled off the. Uh, this is the Arachnorock that I have. I this one was mostly painted just with washes. That was one of those guys I did a little experiment with. So you can have him as just a plain old Arachnorock by himself, or you can add on the Howda with all the extra little guys on top and the catapult. So you could have a work shaman version or you can is this is his mount well this was the rules of it back in the day i think the newest one is just a, i'm not sure if you can just buy it as a plain old spider or you can have him as a mount i can't remember i have to take a look at that but either way i got it set up so you can go either direction but this is the army as it is right now, other than a few more additions, which would be roughly like one more unit of uh, orc boys and then some, probably some more art, goblin archers. I'll probably put out two more units of 20 goblin archers to uh, add some fast firing short bows to the mix. Because you know, the short bows are pretty good now. It's that they can shoot twice if they don't i think if they don't move there's a new rule for them so kind of nice so that's the army that's a chunk of change when it comes to all the points wrapped up in here could easily say 35 to 4 thousand points now somewhere in there and a lot of it's wrapped up in big giant mobs of guys right there so so that's it hope you guys like it like and subscribe share your friends and we'll see you in the next one Elk Rex out.